Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Asperia. As you know, this in the last video, the they got separated in the forest, and it cut off before it finished. So, let's continue the story. Right now, where have you run off to? Hey, Mr. Famous, sounds like you got a fan out there. Well, good, I need more fans. Again, that guy gives a new meaning to the word workaholic. Lady Estelis, I say, do come out of hiding. You guys have a lot of problems. Just who are you, anyways? Uh, well, I'm... Yuri, come out, come out, wherever you are. You can talk about that later. Wow, wait, wait, it's me. Attack the egg bear. Ah, uh, Chris, don't threaten us like that. Anyways, let's get our boats to more harbor before things get any more complicated. Which way were we supposed to go again? Let's see, as the crow flies north. Isn't this a bistro? Can we really go through here? Well, we'll go as far as we can go, but at least I don't want to get captured again. We'll need to be on the lookout for monsters then. Meh, what are one or two monsters to the brave Captain Chris? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Though if the barrier were up, we wouldn't have to worry about monsters at all. I can't stand it. Why does some idiot have to go around breaking glass and making our lives difficult? encouraging. Ah, uh, you know, we're just messing with you. I didn't even know flowers like these grew to the mountains. Grew up in the mountains. Rookie, don't touch it. Inhaling Billy Bally leaf pollen can lead to vertigo and strong feelings of exhaustion. Hmm. Hey, Sephiroth! Hey, what are you? Whoops, sorry. Chris, are you okay? You're interested in healing arts. Nah. It's no use. Healing arts don't work on this. We'll just have to wait until he recovers naturally. How long will that take? Chris, be strong. Eh, Rookie, you're terrible. I said I was sorry. If you're alright, then let's go. Let's be careful to stay away from the Billy Valley from now on, okay? I get. What if he has some reason for what he's doing? They can have any reason they want. Destroying Blastia is unforgivable. There's Here. a conspiracy. There's a conspiracy going on with Blastia. Going to overthrow Ruki. How could they after all she's done to them? Let's work together! We're done. I won't move! 
Good, we saved it. Don't get in my way. During the last video, I didn't even save it. So yeah, sorry about that. Because we don't ever have any yeah. enough money. Exactly. Yeah, hey. Why are we still fugitives against the Imperial Nets? The Nets. The Imperial Nets. <laughs> what, what's that? Yeah! That, that's one of the monsters that attacked Halur's village. A survivor, eh? If we leave it here, it'll surely go back and try to attack Halor again. But Halor's got the barrier protecting it now. Even so, how are people of Halor supposed to sleep in that with beasts like this crawling around just outside the barrier? Jeez. Let's go stop it. Let's fight it. Come on, we Vikings. That's bad. Oh, only one poison bottle. There's no way I have resurrection. Yet. Do we actually have a life bottle? We have life bottles. Yeah. This is a tough uh, battle. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, please, heal me. This is enough. Five grand left.
extra I level. So. Alright, I'm probably gonna do some leveling off camera. But what the heck? It hardly put up <laughs> it hardly put up a fight. But there could be a dozen more just around the corner. No no, no worries, seriously. Well, let's just hope there aren't too many more where it came from. I also need to buy way more life models just to resurrect my teammates. Happy to enjoy the view. It's your first time seeing it too, right? Well, yes, but oh, you must have had such a lonely life. Try to do your research like that. Having you pity me makes me want to jump off this cliff. This water has traversed the world's oceans and has seen all there is to see. The ocean binds the lands of our world together. Here she goes again. It's really just one big puddle, you know. There's something about this view that when you play the game it shows that cinematic, it just pumps you up. It feels quiet. It makes you feel awesome. Alright. While it's auto battling, I gotta do something real quick. Leave it to me! Just 
Who cares? Seriously. What is this? Oh, that's a camping setup. With this, you can set up camp and sleep without having to go to an inn. Oh, that's nice. Now you can go off and play nature board whenever we sleep at an inn. And we'll save money, too. Wh what are you talking about? Camping sets are single-use only. Rookie, don't be so mean. Hmm. That sounds really useful, first. Yeah, they're essentially... they're essential when you're on the road. In addition to camping sets, you could also sleep on mats. But camping sets are really best thing to use. You can't get a better night's sleep with anything else. What wonderful timing. All of you look so exhausted from climbing. You look pretty pooped yourself. Yeah, we've got a ways to go before we get to town too. Maybe we should set up camping. Alright, I'll get everything set it up. Once you camp somewhere, you won't be able to camp around there for a while afterwards. Why is that? After camping on at a certain site, the basic barrier that's included in the camping set will stop being effective for a while, so long as you're near the site. Basic barrier, what's that? There's no Blastia like that. It's not a Blastia, actually. It's just something that gives off a smell that monsters find unpleasant. That's why they're calling it a barrier. It can keep monsters at bay for one night. But after enough time passes, the monsters get used to the smell and it won't keep you safe anymore. Hmm, that makes sense. Well then, we'll leave the setup to you, Chris. Alright, let's see. let's set up camp a little bit further. Not today, not on my watch. Attack the wizard. Hey, no attacking the pretty lady. The reason I find so many enemies right now is to level. Oh, hey, yeah. Yes, one of the best forts to have. Uh... 
let's go try it out. I'm surprised we haven't seen Darth Vader anywhere. <laughs> Because there's somebody that's an asshole running the place. That's enough! You're hurt! You might even get yourself killed this time! But it's our son! If I don't go... Uh, what are you trying to do? Oh, sorry about that. Didn't see you there. Joey! My apologies, sir. Let me take care of that. But I... I can't afford this treatment. It's free. Do you have something else to say? Huh? Jeez. You guys been robbing your banners along with your money? Uh, I'm sorry. Thank you most kindly. Doesn't cost any gold. So it's free for you guys. You seem to be in a pickle. Huh? Really? I'll be checking out those uh, mysterious people going behind the dark alley. And Matt wanted to save it. I have a feeling things are going to go to hell very quick. Seriously, I have a bad feeling I'm not strong enough. Hey, man. Ooh, I can get something better. No axe. That costs like nine thousand. That's mm -hmm. 
I'm sure I had something else. Yeah, it's committer. A wand, a sash. Nobody here. What? What? Who's behind me? Hmm. Fine. Let's fight. Let's get this over with. Oh no! No, not enough mana. Beat you it. Uh -huh. What? That's cheating. And block it. Way to go, team. Thanks, but can you stop attacking? They may be in trouble. Can't have that. Some guy just dragged Elizabeth right by us. Are they both inside the inn? Yep. So the other guy was fleeing, eh? Yep. Well, you might not be able to get a word in edgewise if you went in now. 
It seemed like they might be in there a while. Wanna burn some time walking around town a bit? Sure, okay. Alright, I walked around. Is that guy with your with a serious look your friend? Hmm, I guess not. Should we go inside? Yes. And we are saving this. Are you with the Thieves Guild, Mr. Gossiper? I've heard your story up until this point, Yuri. And also the reason for the bounty on your head. First off, I owe you my thanks for protecting her. Oh, well, gee, thanks. I guess I was happy to help. Oh, I've been meaning to express my gratitude as well, Yuri. You don't doubt that, you. You've been a great comrade. It's nothing. I was already out searching for that last year thief. And that's where we have a problem. Really? Regardless of the circumstances, the Imperial Law cannot allow the obstruction of officers, jailbreaking, and trespassing. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I told him everything. Why? Alright, whatever. Don't be sorry. I mean, I did all that stuff. Then I assume you are prepared to receive the punishment your actions deserve. After I get the court. like it, Chief. This is my... You! Sir, it's the criminal from the Wanted poster! Hi, nice to meet another fan. At ease, Sodia. He's no a friend need... of mine. No need to, um, sign a signature with that sword. What? But sir, he's a wanted man! I've just heard his story. While he is guilty of minor crimes, the warrant for his arrest contains false accusations. Later, I will return him to the capital and explain the situation, and he will receive his due punishment. And I'm glad, I'm glad I'm not being- My mistake, sir. Witcher, let's have your report. I'm glad you're not signing my- your autograph. Whatever. So we're done here, right? Yeah, let's get going. I believe the ongoing rain and wind are being caused by a blastia. A blastia? couple we met near the entrance must be two of his victims. And their child! What? What happened to their child? Forget about it. Well, it's been a hell of a day for us and we're tired. Let's just stay at this end for the night. Also, we can't forget about a certain missing person. Missing person? I'll 
I'll tell you, this is more mean world, huh? I guess that's not much welcome. Anyway, I want to say it's three hundred dollars a night. Thank you, Kevin. I I didn't understand what I need to do. Now, dear. So what's the plan? I'm gonna go see Magistrate Rago. What? We'll get turned away at the gate if we try to go there. Even a noble woman like you would have no chance of getting in. Yeah, but with the harbor barricaded, we can't cross over to Tulum Park. And I think the Deki, along with that one-eyed giant, are both on the other side of the water. Let's stop blabbing about it and just go, why don't we? If you won't listen to what we have to say, we can think of another plan. Alright, let's hit to Rago's Palace. Uh, how you slice it? Flynn is Flynn. Flynn is Flynn. Yep. Of course, I can speak telepathy with the dog. Oh, you should wait till later in the game. It's very good looking. The horizon right above these rooftops. Hopefully, we'll continue the series until we get to that bar. Or even finish the game, for that matter. What do you want? I'd like to meet with Magistrate Rago if you'd be so kind. Ryan, these men are mercenaries. I wonder what guild they're from. I guess that explains the thuggish look. Hmm. <laughs> Go home, scram. The Magistrate's a busy man. Surely not too busy to rough up people in this town. Hey, you better watch your mouth, punk. See, I told you he wouldn't see us. Let's get out of here before things get sticky. Because. I got lots of candy. I don't care if you got cog candy. It's not gonna get sticky. I'd have to agree with Captain Cress on this one. But there must be some other way. Forget it, let's go. You best leave the frontal assault on the palace to the Imperial Knights. But isn't the fact that that's going so badly precisely what's got Flynn in such a bad mood? Hmm. Maybe he'd see us if we can bearing gifts, so to speak. A gift? What do you mean? The rib... The rib garo. It's worth a fair amount of money. Come to think of it, that's official. The official mentioned the rib garo. He said that someone with its horns would never have to worry about paying taxes again. If we brought something that valuable, the magistrate would at least grant us an audience. You propose to catch the rib girl. This is a one chance. It's raining after all. What does rain have to do with it? The rib girl comes out of hiding when it's raining. Out of all the monsters I know, it's the only one that goes out in the rain. Capital observation, Captain Chris. What else? Eh, what do you mean, what else? That's all there is to it. So where's the rib girl now? Er, uh... Useless. Just a second. Well then, let's go talk to the people in town and get their side of the story. Are you okay with this, Elizabeth? Yes, Ray. If we were unlucky, we could at least put all of us on the wrong side of the law. The one who makes the laws in this town is his lordship, the Empire's magistrate. You'd be going you'd be okay with defying him? I'm going with you. You're okay with it? Yes. Rookie, you don't have any problems with it? I have to say I'm incredibly interested in a velocity that can control the way. Then it's decided. So then let's seek out the rib girl first. Anyways, that's usually how things go. A law is basically an opinion decided by a governing ruler. So which means if you were a governing ruler, your opinion would be a law. You never could sit still, could you? Nope. Stop treating me like a little kid. Yuri, don't do anything reckless. I haven't done anything reckless since the day I was born. I'm just chasing after a Blastia thief. Yuri, you're the one who should ease up on trying to do the impossible, Flynn. 
seems like he's even more reckless than before. Flynn? Mary is so single-minded when it comes to protecting others. He's willing to sacrifice himself to do it. I envy him for that. But I also worry that he'll take it too far. Come on, Estelle. Let's go. Yuri's gonna leave us behind. Don't worry, I never take it too far. To right. protect somebody. We should be going now. Alright, time to change equipment. Arm and helmet, chain mill. Rain's letting up, but it's still so gloomy. Yeah, I can't see the sun at all. Whether it's raining or sunny doesn't much affect our adventure anyways. That's not true. Different monsters come out in different weather. There's also monsters who can't stand water and others that love it. Monsters have a large effect on what we do, don't you think? Chris, it's so nice to have a member of the Hunting Blades with us who knows about these things. Well, regardless, we're going to have to walk in the rain. Not necessarily. The weather might be different in the morning. Yeah, maybe so. The best cure for a gloomy day like this is to sleep it away nice and cozy. Cozy. But tomorrow could be just as cloudy as in this month as today. Way to rain on my parade. Pun intended. But rainy days aren't always so bad. They say all sorts of things happen on rainy days and don't happen when it's sunny. Is that something else that you read in your books? Is that true? That's what they say. Well, for now, let's just have... We'll just have to get some sleep and wait for the sky to clear up. Tomorrow might just be as rainy as today. Rookie, you're pretty mean, you know that? Exactly, that's the entire thing. The Golden Unicorn. Golden Unicorn. I shall capture you. And you shall be my horse. You shall be in shining speed. This is Rinkaro! Attack the Gold Unicorn.
Hey, it's a good thing we took it down. Come on, let's take it back with us. It's covered in scars and bruises. I kind of feel sorry for it. I reckon it's been attacked by desperate townspeople. Townspeople quite a few times. It's not the people in the towns, but no, I understand. Ryan? The horn is what's so valuable, right? This will be enough to satisfy the money grubbing magistrate. Well, it's not like you to show pity to a monster. While you guys are busy talking, the monster's getting up. What? What? Why did it run away? It understood what we were thinking. The monster did? Seriously? Hey, we got the horn. Who cares the other way? Okay. This is bad. Let's I'm gonna have together. to speed run for it so in order to get all the singing out. Done. Ten minutes just to complete it. Wait, you can't go out again after that girl went through the trouble of healing your wounds. Where are you off to with that dangerous weapon? That's no business of yours. I can't have you sticking your nose into my fears just because you're curious. Th this is... Sorry for stealing your thunder back at the end. Maybe this will make it up to you. Uh, but thank you so much. Hold on. You're just giving it to him? It's a small price to pay that saves their child's life. You were planning on doing this from the beginning, weren't you? Nope, it just came to me. You do realize that you just gave away our gift for the magistrate, right? Now what will we do? No worries, we'll find some other way to get into the magistrate's palace. Shall we see how Flynn's doing then? Yes, maybe he's even got into Rago's palace already and set things straight. Yeah, that sure would be nice. Let's go pay a visit to the inn. You're looking chipper as always, Flynn. I've got a lot on my mind, Ryan. Not that you know what that's like. Hm. You managed to go out and get your bouncy raised even higher? I thought you went to the magistrate's palace. I went along with a search warrant from the Blasio Research Lab. Ah, so you were able to go inside and look around? Nope. The Magistrate refused us entry. Why? He even tried to provoke us. If you really think I have Belastia, try to bust your way in, he said. He knows we don't have the jurisdiction to do that. He's just making a mockery of us. Well, isn't he right? What did you say? Ryan, whose side are you on anyways? It's not a matter of whose side I'm on. If you think you're right, you should force your way inside. No, it's a trap. Rogo wants the Imperial Guard to make a mistake so he can use it as an excuse to increase his authority of the Council. If we go in now, he'll hide the evidence and feign instance. Is Magistrate Rogo on the Council as well? Yes. 
The Imperial Knights and the Council are both essential organizations that support the Empire, but Rogo seems to have forgotten this fact. So in short, we're not dealing with your everyday magistrate here. Well, have you got a plan for what you're doing next? What, you're out of ideas? If there were some sort of disturbance inside the palace, the Imperial Knights would be able to move in under the pretense of an emergency prerogative. Ah uh, yes, the Imperial Knights may employ emergency prerogative to intervene in emergency situations, regardless of jurisdiction. Of course, so if a thief snuck in and caused a ruckus, that'd be enough. Brian, I know what you I know you want to help, but but I shouldn't do anything reckless, right? I'm going to go on patrol with the town. I just received a tip that a fugitive with a warrant out for his arrest is trying to get into the magistrate's palace. Yep. Okay, this. It's the person that helped me escape. It won't last long if you go screaming in a spot like this, your ladyship. I'm sorry, but who are you? Um, the old man. What do you mean? Me and the kid, they're old friends, right, pal? Yeah, I guess. I barely know this guy. Now, now, don't be like that. What about the fun times we had in jail, Mr. Yuri Lowell? Screw you. <laughs> Hey, hey, so we meet again. Glad to see you're okay. Catch you later. Wait. Ah, it's going down. To the ground. Ar, I don't believe this. You can't control it from down here. Ooh. Something smells rank. Blood along with something else. It smells rotten. 
I wonder if he's into racing monsters too. Could be. He had rib girl, rib, rib girl after all. Papa, ma, hit me. Uh, what was that? What is this place? It sounds like someone's there. Let's go. Alright guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you in nice. the next video. See ya. See ya.